back. Jay's regaling me with his lecture about the history of spitting. Yeah. And its social implications. Yeah. It's mostly a way of expressing disapproval. Yep. In some Pretty ancient effective. I'm sure- oh, bo oh fuck, he's gonna be rock types, isn't he? Oh nope. boy, fighting types. Oh boy, Gyarados. Oh boy, I forgot what Machop used to look like. He looks like a terrible Gumby. He, he looks like a- Look at his ribs! <laughs> he looks like a deformed Gummy Bear. He looks like a deflated, wacky, waving, inflatable, arm-flailing tube man. Yeah. Okay, now we need the rat. Yeah, because he's the only one who knows water type moves. We have got a fucked up party, don't we? Oh well, that's well. I mean, one more that's level the point and. Point of a nuzlocke, dude. Yeah, I was gonna say one more level, and I think the uh, Gyarados learns a water move finally. No, I looked it up while you were gone. Gyarados learns one water move by leveling. It's Hydro Pump, and he learns it at level 41. Ah, this is gonna be a long day. <laughs> we're not grinding all the way to level 41, Jay. Also, yes. Okay, we need to. Speaking of grinding, we should at least put the bare minimum of effort into these bastards. Or we could just keep grinding up the not shit rat. I figure if I have three. Oh, check and see. Oh, after this fight, check and see if the Pidgey can learn Whirlwind, and then follow it up with figuring out what Whirlwind does. Fair point. I, I can't remember if it's a damage dealing move or if it forces a Pokemon to leave. I figure Gyarados and two Raticates should be enough to win this gym battle. I think so. I believe Misty's strongest Pokemon it's a Starmie. is a Starmie at level 22. If I recall correctly. Which, uh, I've got like a 50% ratio going on right now, I think. I have like a 0% ratio. After I identified that Moonstone... Moonstone. Fucking spirit. Oh, wait with you. He's named after Nixon's vice president. <laughs> That's Spiru. Spiro Tiag... Spiru? It wasn't Spear. It was... Spiro Tiagno is how I... I yeah. Headless body of Agnu. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I love Futurama. When I was a younger, I never understood why they didn't just put Nixon's head on Agnew's That's body. That's the joke, Jay. Yeah. That's why I said when I was a kid who didn't understand comedy. Honestly, I just didn't know who he was, and then I looked it up, and then I learned a thing, and then okay. I got the joke and laughed. And everyone was like, everyone in school was like, why are you laughing as I'm on the internet researching, uh, like, former vice presidents? <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was weird. I was a weird child. Eh. I'm kind of a weird grown up too, so I mean, yeah. whatever. I mean. Yeah. Alright, let's find out what world. Does Bill's do. house. Is Bill's house still here in uh, the second game? I don't remember. Oh, Thunder Not that one. Oh, one. Oh, four. Whirlwind. Teach Whirlwind to a Pokemon? Yes. Alpha Bravo. The only one who can learn it. You know what? One of the, one of the nicest bits of. Um, quality of life to Pokemon was. What's that? Uh, the re the ability to reuse. What, will it not tell you what they do? No, not outside of battle, apparently. Oh, boy. You'll just never know. That is bizarre. Only one way to find out. Go fight a wild Pokemon. Yeah, that's what I plan on doing. Uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, one of the nicest quality of life improvements in the future Pokemon is games. Is letting you see what moves do? Well, that too, but... <laughs> well, well, good thing I didn't come to this grass. Yeah, I would've... I actually, don't know, I mean, if you grounded that... Nice. Yeah, I was gonna say, grinding it out to a Butterfree would've actually been to our benefit. Oh, oh alright. Well, now we know. Mystery solved. Yeah. And knowing is half the battle, in theory. Uh, anyway. Uh, that HMs become reusable in the future. TMs. TMs. HMs were always reusable. Yeah, but, uh, in the future, now that, uh, HMs are replaceable, um, with the fucking just Pokemon using abilities in the wild, uh, HMs be are also gone. Oh, good. I never again have to see Flash. Yep. For strength. Yep. Do you think oh, you can boy. take him? Yeah, I think so. Fight super hard. Oh, I cannot take him. No. Yeah. 
fucking run. Yeah, I don't want to slug it out. I could probably take him, but I don't want to. I don't, I don't know. Want to One confusion did a hell of a lot of damage. On the upside, it will be far less effective on right, tidal Right, but wave. a second confusion won't kill him. Oh, fuck off. What? He came confused. Did he? But yeah, a second one wouldn't kill him, and a second attack from him wouldn't kill me, yeah. but a third attack from both, uh, from either would. I know I go faster, but I don't want to risk doing this. Yeah. Especially the, Yep. Hey! Hooray! Doesn't he learn something at 22? I guess Apparently not. Apparently not. I'm not mad! I'm angry! He's pretty butthurt. He's not... Hi! My boyfriend is cool! He's pretty tushy tackled. And a little bit fanny flustered. Tiny smidgen of colon crushed. <laughs> Butt befuddled. A little bit rectally ruined. Anally agitated. Me and Dimitri once sat down and came up with no less than 25 of these. Jesus, god damn it. I have forgotten the vast majority. I only remembered the number for Oh god fucking every time. <laughs> every fucking time. The price you pay for grinding. Is that I get poisoned? Mm -hmm. On the upside, if you knock the Pokemon out, you apparently don't take the poison damage. Yeah, that's, that's, that's nice. Quality of life, I suppose. I don't know that that stays I consistent, I, I'm actually. I'm pretty sure it's a bug, just like how in this, if you knock someone out with Hyper Beam, you don't have to recharge. Mm. Oh, man. Actually, uh, hey. recently someone made it to, like, top eight in Nationals with Hyper Beam on a character. Huh. Yeah. Uh, it, it was like Well, a... I mean, I said... Oh, wait, no, yeah, I forgot <laughs> that in, uh, train... I forgot that... Fu For whatever reason, you can't just hot switch out Pokemon in, uh... Linked battles. Yeah. Which always seemed weird to me, because it's like, yeah, you knock the other guy's Pokemon out, just fucking throw a random one out. I don't know what I'm doing, you don't know what I'm doing, let's go. Well, it was sort of a way to let you roll NPCs in this, yeah. but it was kind of annoying that it was a central game mechanic for single player and completely removed from multiplayer. Yeah. But, um... <laughs> yeah, uh, they had Hyper Beam on, like, a Wigglytuff or something. Um, it was like a defensive beast. Yeah. And, uh, basically the whole deal was that, uh, his Wigglytuff performed all of its jobs adequately with only three of its move slots filled. So, uh, he decided that move slot four would be filled with Hyper Beam. Um, that way, uh, just out of fucking nowhere, he could hit someone for a ridiculous amount of damage if, uh, he figured that Wigglytuff was about to die. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, someone else did that with Explosion of all things recently. Yeah, but I mean, like, Explosion is one of those really funny ones, especially if you give it an appropriate name. I think one of my favorite ones was I once was playing a guy online, and he had a, uh, golem named The Economy. <laughs> it just used self-destruct. <laughs> nice. Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, Explosion actually used to be super powerful. Uh, because not only is it an incredibly hard-hitting move, and it's a normal move, so it's on type for a lot of things, but it used to actually have your opponent's defense, uh, before calculating damage. So it used to be, like, a, a almost guaranteed KO. Unless, like, especially in casual. Why Hyperfang? Because I'm an idiot. The reason so I is he, so that's fine. It's the reason I do most things. This goes back to our old discussion about being lazy and stupid. Yep. That's why you keep tearing down your house made of Pokemon. Tearing down my house made of Pokemon? Ah, it was a failed reference to the fact that half of your party died. Yeah. Eh, keep going. Go fight that other kid. I mean, your level 22s are just gonna steamroll just about anything he has. More or less. I'm a cool guy. I've got a girlfriend. Didn't that girl just say that she was cool and she had a boyfriend? No, she said her boyfriend was cool. Oh. Which leads us to suspect that it is, in fact, this fellow. I actually think, if I'm not mistaken, in Gold and Silver, they're still together or something like that. 
Because, uh, you, I think you have... No, wait, did double fights exist at this point? In gold and silver? Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, I think you might be right. I might be crazy. Oh yeah, they were introduced in the Game Boy Advance because they had a larger screen. Yeah, let's not. Don't want to get in the rap trap. <laughs> that's not a bad one. Oh, man. Right. Because it had the larger screen, it actually could support double battles. And then the 3DS had an even larger screen, so it had triple battles. And then, they, then when the XL came out, they were like, "Why not? You could fight five wild Pokemon at once!" And people oh, yeah, were like, "Slow battles!" Yeah, people were like, "Slow down, game freak!" And they just cackled madly in the corner. Oh, okay. So speaking of horde battles, I saw the funniest fucking um, seismic toss. Ooh, that's a good one. Especially early game. <laughs> Nothing has hands. <laughs> oh god damn it! This again. I gotta hand it to you. Your Fuck party. Fuck Hold on, I got a, I got a last good one though. Your party seems to have a serious handicap. Fuck! I knew I had to fight you. Uh, <laughs> why are you like this? <laughs> yes, you can't stop me. Oh, okay, right. I was gonna say the best fucking uh, pair up I've ever seen was a uh, picture of uh, one of those horde battles, and they were the vanillish, like the little ice creams. Yep. Oh, and, and it was an alakazam. It was an alakazam that went mega, so it had the five spoons <laughs> flying above its head. Oh, I just missed a rap. Oh, good. But yeah, I, I love the alakazam. I, I love the, like, there's the picture of the vanillish, and then there's the cadabra with the spoon, and then there's uh, the vanillux with the two, with the two mm -hmm. scoops, and then he evolves to alakazam. <laughs> and he has more more fucking spoons. <laughs> and then it's the vanillish horde. <laughs> it's like five spoons. Oh god, it makes me think of um I swear to god, sooner or later Vanillux is gonna get a mega where it where it has like it's gonna be six scoops. I was gonna say it's gonna be an entire counter at Baskin Robbins. <laughs> yeah. And and then Alakazam is gonna get like a super mega ultra evolution. Where it's just an entire Alakazam just constructed of spoons that are bent into the shape of a creature. It's metal type now. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I'd lose too. Yeah, then get out of here, punk. You're wasting my time. Alakazam's highest evolution is is just a Snorlax made of spoons. I was gonna say his highest evolution is just the spoon. <laughs> it's just a giant spoon. Not even a giant one, just a tablespoon. <laughs> Truly, I have reduced it to its core element. If Alakazam could learn Substitute, it should just put a spoon in front of itself. A spoon with a dumb face drawn on it like Plank from uh, uh, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Oh fuck, I love Plank. I love all the memes of turning Plank incredibly dark. I love the meme of taking porn with a woman's legs open. Oh yeah! And then you put in Ralph's face. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like, life has many doors, Ed boy. Yeah, the one where he's like ripping through reality. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. One of my favorites is um, there's a picture of uh, Goku charging the like. Whatever the blast was that killed Frieza. Have you brought the cupcakes of sorriness? No, it was him charging that, but uh, Goku was replaced from like the waist up with Ralph, and he's just like, Now you will behold the wrath of the son of a shepherd. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, I'm part of a Dragon Ball shit posting group <laughs> on Facebook, and uh, one of the things is that people are constantly posting their own custom power rankings, where like, who's stronger than who? And, uh, Super Son of a Shepherd Rolf is always one of the big ones. And it's just Rolf with, like, terribly drawn Super Saiyan hair. And then there's Super Saiyan 3 Ed. <laughs> like, the dumb Ed. And... Yeah, because he's got the one brow. Yeah. Alright, we'll see you next time, folks. Bye, everybody.